I'm saying churches are full of atheists. People that will not accept God's authority in their life. Now, actually, I actually have a certain amount of respect for these uh, atheist churches that are popping up because they're honest. At least they're honest. At least they're saying, look, we don't believe in God. We just want to have something similar to a church service without God. We want to sing, we want to dance, we want to praise, we want to, you know, we want to listen to inspirational messages, we want to help the community, we want to better ourselves. We, want, we don't want anything to do with God. At least I have to respect them for the honesty. At least they're honest. Now here's the real danger. Here's the real danger. People who buy a building, put a steeple on it, put a cross on it, and call it a church. That's the real danger right there. Yet inside are people that will not accept God's authority in their life. I mean, how would you know the difference between an atheist church and a Christian church? You know what Jesus said? Let's take a look at what Jesus said. Matthew 7 and verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied? And in your name, and in, we've cast out devils, and in your name done many wonderful works. Now l listen, folks, these are religious works. Casting out devils and inspired preaching, inspired messages. This sounds religious. Notice what he says, verse 23. Then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. You know what the word means? Iniquity? It means lawlessness. They had a no-law theology. That's what that means. They had a no-law, an anti-no-law theology. That's what they preached. That's what they taught. No-law theology. It's been nailed to the cross. It's been fulfilled. It's been abolished. A no-law theology. And Jesus says, I don't even know you. I never knew you. You went through all this religious activity. You, you rode the merry-go-round of churchianity. Choir practice, singing in the choir, going to Bible studies, doing this, doing that, and you just you couldn't get enough of church. And you were, work, you were workers of iniquity, lawlessness. You had a no-law theology. I don't know you.